hi air signs this is the empress here i'm so happy to have you guys back here with me today today we're going to do case of the x for november okay so we're going to find out how your ex feels about you in the month of november all right so we're going to do um if i have someone who would like to get a discount on a personal reading with me um if you timestamp this video contact me via email which i'll leave that information in the description box and um i'll get you a discount to where you can purchase your very own personal reading with the empress okay all right so we're going to take a look into air signs we're going to see how the x feels about air signs all right so let's start off with um aquarius this is going to be for the month of november how does how does um how do they feel? How does the ex feel about Aquarius? How does the ex feel about Aquarius? And if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the like button. Don't hesitate to comment, share, and for my newbies, click the bell to subscribe, okay? All right, so let's take a look. This is going to be for Aquarius. How does Aquarius ex feel about Aquarius? All right, Aquarius, bottom of the deck, we have this could be the one, all right? So you've already met the romantic partner that you see. So maybe they were feeling like, you know, you were the one, all right? Maybe there's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that they want to have with you, okay? So honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And we have retreat. All right, so it's time to disconnect from the world. So maybe there's distance or time apart, you know. Maybe someone's going on vacation. Let's take a look. We're going to grab some clarifiers. All right. So how does Aquarius X feels about Aquarius? What's up with this heart to heart conversation? What do they want to talk about? Let's clarify heart to heart conversations for Aquarius. How does Aquarius X feel about Aquarius for the month of November? This is for sun, moon, and rising Aquarius. Okay. Sun, moon, and rising Aquarius. Some of you guys could have possibly been dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Sensing a lot of earth energy here. And I feel like they also feel as if you um, are on top of your game here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. This is a lot of effort, a lot of work being put in the Queen of Pentacles. She's very solid. She is, you know, she's about her coins. She's about her money. All right. So let's take a look and see. I feel like maybe someone wants closure. We have the world here, which talks about ending a cycle, talks about closures, okay? I feel like they are wanting to have some closure here with you. And I feel like here with retreat, it's like something about keeping them waiting. I feel like they feel like you're keeping them waiting. Maybe there is, um, maybe they're wanting to go somewhere out of town or a trip and or maybe this was something that was planned and i feel like they feel as if you you kept them waiting they will or they possibly want some alone time with you i'm sensing a long time i feel like they want to get together with you and uh, i feel like they just want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about what possibly could have went wrong or um um, but I'm definitely sensing closure. I feel like they want closure here. Because they were feeling as if you could have been the one. Alright? Let's hop into Libras. How does the Libra... How does the Libra's ex feel about Libra? For the month of November. How does Libra's ex feel about Libra? Sun, moon, and rising Libras. How does Libra's ex feel about Libra? All right, bottom of the deck, we have engagement. 
all right so your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitments maybe some some of them wanted to get engaged or they wanted to propose or they wanted to like make a commitment here all right so the first part we have is pay attention to the red flags okay pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you all right and the next card is calling in your soulmate so your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you closer together. Hmm, pay attention to the red flags. Let's see what's going on. Libras, please give me clarifying cards for how Libra's ex feel about Libra. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands here. So something could possibly be a burden, okay? Um, so there could be a heavy load here. Maybe maybe someone was wanting to caution. Um, maybe they were trying to caution you about someone that you possibly could have gotten into something serious with here with engagement. But let's take a look. Okay, this definitely has something to do with possibly a commitment here. Okay, it's something about, um, okay, it's something about, they feel as someone is not going to give a, a commitment here, or they feel as if, I'm just sensing like they're wanting to caution you about someone, um, I'm sensing that. Maybe a lot of you Libras have moved on, um, and some of you guys could have possibly gotten engaged or have taken up a higher level of commitment here but i feel like they're cautioning you they're wanting to warn you about something about this i feel like here with calling your soulmate we have the ace of cups here so these are their feelings and their emotions okay so they still have a lot of emotions for you there's still a lot of emotions a lot of feelings here but i feel like they're trying to um guard it and protect your emotions here but i feel like there is something that they're wanting to caution you of possibly about someone that you moved on with but i feel like they're trying to i'm sensing like they're trying to protect your feelings that's what i'm sensing here i'm feeling like they have lots of emotions and feelings here for you they're wanting to protect your your feelings and it's about something um, about someone that you need to pay attention to there's some signs or there's something um, that they're trying to caution you about yeah the truth here with the ace of swords someone they feel as if someone is not being someone is not being honest here Someone is not being honest and they're trying to caution you or warn you they want to warn you or caution you because they care, they have feelings for you. Um, but at the same time, they, you know, are wanting to protect your feelings. But I'm sensing that there's something that they wanna caution you and talk to you about. And it could possibly have something to do with um, possibly someone that you moved on from them and, and got into something new. Or someone that you could be talking to or communicating. Maybe they have some tea or they have some type of information that they feel like you need to know, okay, about someone. Or about a situation it could even be involving family as well too with that ten of pentacles there okay so let's go into libra gemini okay gemini 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 and these messages can go vice versa they are general reads they don't resonate with every single air sign all right, so they're, who, they're for whoever they need to be for, okay? So let's hop into Gemini. How does Gemini's ex feel about Gemini? How does Gemini's ex feel about Gemini? Sun, moon, and rising Gemini for the month of November. bottom of the deck we have soulmate okay so yes this is your soulmate we have release your ex 
And we also have let go of control issues. Hmm. Interesting. Gemini's. How does Gemini's ex feel about the Gemini? I'm already sensing like they feel like you let them go and you are no longer, you're leaving it in the universe's hands and you're allowing things to unfold naturally. You're letting things, you release them. That's just what I'm sensing. But we're going to pull some clarifiers here and see what's what. For Gemini's, please, please give me clarifying cards for Gemini's. How does Gemini's ex feel about Gemini? Okay, Gemini's, bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands. This is future planning. This is thinking about your future, preparing. And then we have the ace of pentacles under that and a seven of pentacles. Um, so it's like preparing for something for a better future. Maybe they feel like you're securing your future. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, they definitely feel like you have let them go here with this Ace of Cups. Like, you don't have any more. Um, you've let go of the emotions and the feelings that you have for them. And with let go of control issues here, we have the Tower card, um, which is a card of Scorpio. This Ace of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. But definitely letting go of control. Like, you know, I'm just going to let this unfold naturally. And that's definitely what I'm getting. Yeah, they feel like you don't you don't care about them anymore. They feel like you're not, you have let them go and you are no longer like the tower here with the five of wands is explosive confusion. This is definitely confusion here, but I feel like they feel that you have let all that go. They feel that you have let, you no longer, you, you, you've let that go. Then the lover's card here with the, is the card of Gemini. They feel like you've let that go. They feel as if you have let them go. We have release your ex and let go of control issues. And that's exactly what they feel as if you have done. You have let it go. You no longer are carrying emotional weight, being weighed down by the emotions of the situation. Um, there could have been a lot of conflict, a lot of um, outbursts and, you know, just confusion. You've let that go. You've let that go. Good for you, Gemini's. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for my air signs. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. If you want to book a personal reading and you want to get really, really deep, get in depth of how they really, truly feel for your situation specifically, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll leave that information in the drop box below. You can contact me. We can get you set up. Timestamp the video. Um, and once you timestamp the video, reach out to me via email and we'll get you set up with a discounted rate. Okay, for a, your very own personal reading, okay? Mwah. Thank you guys. Ciao for now.